All right, welcome back, guys. So today we've got one. It's called Foreigners Becoming Disappointed in the Philippines for Meeting Girls. All right, let's get into this. Hey, what's up, guys? I want to talk to you about some misunderstandings about what it's really like in the Philippines when it comes to meeting a Filipina because I've had a bunch of conversations recently about guys that were kind of disappointed oh, wow. because their expectations weren't met. They found it to be much different than what they thought it was going to be like. Take, for example, a guy that I met about a week ago in Dumaguete. He was telling me that he was in Dumaguete back in 2015, and he said it was so different that wherever he went in town, girls were staring at him, girls were smiling at him. He was like, I was the man. He couldn't go anywhere without getting that kind of attention, and he just felt like, Dude, where am I? It was like another <laughs> universe when it came to, you know, girls being interested in him just because he was a foreigner. Fast forward to now, well, like a week ago when I was chatting with him and he was like, man, no one notices me at all. Like no one looks at me. It's just as if I'm any other guy walking around. Like he just doesn't feel like he's anything unique or special. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> that's how it is now in Dumaguete. Now, Keep in mind, Dumaguete is one of the more popular areas for foreigners. So if you're hanging out in the downtown area where he has been hanging out, there's a lot of foreigners and it's kind of been a growing foreigner retirement area and destination for the last few years. So it's no longer a place where there's any kind of wow factor of seeing seeing a foreigner. Now, that same thing applies to Cebu City. Most foreigners go to IT Park. Ayala Mall. Like yeah, I love Mall. I love those There's so many foreigners in these areas now, especially even, you know, since a year and four months ago when I first came here. There's way more now than there was back then. You know, same with like BGC in Manila and, you know, other areas in the Philippines. So these kind of areas, you're not going to get the attention that you might be expecting. Another guy messaged me not too long ago and he was like, Chad, man, I'm getting ghosted like left and right. I hopped on one of those dating apps and, you know, start some conversations and, you know, one after another, they're like, they stop chatting with me or I'm I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe these uh, Filipinas are getting tired of foreigners just coming over to the Philippines and thinking they can get whatever the girl they want, do whatever they want and just leave them. Like they're starting to wake up too, man. They're not stupid. Like I said, I've said this many times before. Like Filipinas are not stupid girls. The Filipino people are not stupid. They probably starting to realize that, and they're like, no, it's not worth dating or even talking to a foreigner because the foreigner probably just wants to come around and mess around with them and just leave after. So that's why it's becoming harder. And it, those guys who go over to the Philippines and just mess around with them and ru ru ruin it for everybody because there are good guys out there that want to go to the Philippines looking for a good wife, and like if. If a lot of these foreigners or the older guys are just going over to mess around with them, they're not going to bother look at, look at the foreigners anymore. They're like, oh, this guy's just here to have a good time. And especially if you're a good-looking guy, they're probably like, yeah, this guy's definitely here to just have a good time. Making plans with them, and then they just disappear. And so, and I've had this happen to me too with, you know, having conversations with girls online. And my thought with that is it's the same thing. There's so many freaking guys that are, Yep. focused on the Philippines right now and it's just been in the last year how many more people are looking to come to the Philippines wow she's gorgeous the Filipina you know tired of the crappy dating back home and that's not just US Canada it's Australia UK all over Europe Russia Poland like there's so many countries that are you know looking at the Philippines as this possible place to find an amazing girl Just and it is it's not anything like dating back home it's still like it's still way better despite all of these things that i'm talking about so the main point is i really just want to set expectations right because i do think a lot of guys come here and they're expecting to just feel something different they're expecting to get the eye everyone be like oh wow look at this guy i want this guy and Chances are you're not going to get that in these really, really popular areas. A lot of the girls that are hanging out in these areas are are working. They're maybe at call centers, working at the mall, whatever. They see foreigners all the time. It's not a big deal. Nothing special that. anymore. In fact, there's a lot of girls that they don't even like, like going to Ayala Mall, for example, because there's so many foreigners there. And guys that first come to the Philippines are coming with this like, 
charged energy, <laughs> like built up, you know, oh my God, I want to get to the Philippines and meet someone. So they show up and they go to these areas and then they go to the mall and I'm not going to lie, there is cute girls everywhere. There are so many cute Filipinas. It's crazy. So, you know, you go to the mall, you go to Ayala Mall and you see all these cute girls. And so these guys are like, oh, I want one. You're right. <laughs> so they walk up and, um, you know, a lot of these girls are, I guess, tired of so many foreigners approaching them and asking yeah. for the number and stuff. And it's just not the right place to do it. It's funny because when I when I first came to the Philippines, I made a video at Ayala Mall. I interviewed a few different girls and was asking them about dating. And the funny thing was, two of them were actually there waiting for their dates. Oh, wow. And so the whole video was like, this is the best place to meet Filipinas. And it was all about Ayala Mall. And I don't feel that way now. I think it's even changed since when I made that video. I think it's changed a lot. There's just more foreigners and the whole dynamic has changed. Now, let me clarify too. You have to come with the mindset. Like if you're in one of these popular areas, it's not like Filipinas aren't interested in foreigners. It's just, it's not some place that's magical where you're just this amazing foreigner. Oh my God, I want you. You gotta come with the good traits as well, like something that they want. At all. So if you want to meet a girl in IT Park or any of these areas, you can. You just have to be friendly. You have to have a good attitude and you do have to have some confidence, right? So you have to be able to go up and start a conversation. But the cool thing is most Filipinas are just very nice, sweet people. And if you come with a smile and a, just a genuine attitude and you're not coming with like, I want to get your number, I want to take you out, that is the way to approach most Filipinas. It's just generalization. It doesn't apply to everyone. There are girls that are still going to be quick to want to give you their number, want to go out on a date with you. You know, there are lots of opportunities to date in Cebu, in these popular areas. Like, yeah, Cebu is like one of my favorite places to visit in the Philippines, to be honest. So I'll say that. things to really deep dive into as far as the personality differences here compared to Western women, the cultural differences, you know, really how to approach it. For example, a lot of girls that might not be interested in you in that first encounter, their thought is a little bit cautious, but if you were to see them again and then again, and you sort of build that trust, even if this girl's super cute and you're like, ah, oh, she's not gonna be interested in me because maybe I'm too average or below average looking or something like that. One of the coolest aspects of the Philippines is that most girls aren't overly worried about the way you look. Really? Western. Okay. And that's pretty awesome. That is awesome. We're more focused on meeting a guy that is genuine, trustworthy, has a good attitude, you know, provides a sense of security and yep. these aspects. All women want these things. But what's cool about the Philippines is that is their by far their main thing and they're less worried about your looks, they're less worried about your fashion even if you're just like clean and and appropriate that's good enough. they like that you don't have to have the best fashion you can dress dorky you can be a little overweight have a belly be below average looking you can be balding like these things compared to the i don't know i don't know if I, if I went to the philippines right now would would i get any kind of girls looking at me like i feel like i won't get girls checking me out like I, unless I tell them like, "Yo, Kevo, I'm like, I'm a, a, a YouTuber or a streamer, probably, maybe, I, I, I don't know. Would I? Come on, put in the comments down below. Would you guys talk to me if I approached you? Like, hey, what's going on? My name is Kevin. I'm new to the Philippines. Uh, can you do you have any recommendations for me? And do you mind if I have your number so I have a friend to talk to or something like that? What if I approach him like that? Like, don't approach him like, "Yo, you're cute. I want to date you." Like, just kind of approach him as a friend, build up that trust. You know, like he said, would that work for me? Put in the comments down below if you would be uh be one of those girls. Just 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 saying. I wanna see. <laughs> I just wanna see a little bit. That's way different. And that that's just really, really cool. And age. I mean, obviously that you know, you hear a lot about that, the whole age thing. Girls here aren't super worried about that if there's a big age gap. And a lot of girls like that. They want a guy who's more mature. And that's where the age thing comes in for these girls, that it provides them with that feeling of security, uh, 
trustworthiness. You know, a younger guy is going to potentially be playing more games or be less faithful and be less emotionally mature. So point of this video, guys, is set your expectations right. Be realistic. For these like popular areas, come with the right attitude. Now, I want to finish the video with how different it is when you start to get away from these popular areas. And if you're looking for that unique attention that I think a lot of guys are anticipating when they come to the Philippines, you have to get out of these areas. Oh, I remember this chick. The more, go, the more the video about her. dynamic changes, the more attention you get and the more unique you are to the people that you're going to, that you're going to encounter. But they're also going to be cautious of you. They're going to be you know, unsure of like what your intention is. Yeah, what are. do you want? Are you, what are you really here for? They're shy. They're concerned about what people are thinking. So if you're talking to someone in the province, they might be thinking in the back of their head, who's watching? There's a lot of like gossip in the province and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, these are other kinds of challenges when it comes to meeting someone. But that attention that you might be wanting and, and expecting when you come to the Philippines that is where you're going to get that kind of attention. It's going to be off the beaten track. It's going to be out of the way from the comforts of some of these other areas in the Philippines. Don't go to Ayala Mall if you want to get that attention. Take a ferry to Leyte. That's where I'm going next. <laughs> and then hop on a trike and tell them to drop you off in some random town and then walk around. And then you're going to get crazy attention. You're going to get... Yeah, but how are you going to get back? You're going to get lost too, my guy. You want, that's what you have to do. And people are friendly. People are cool. But you have to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Next video, I think I'm going to talk more about just the intricacies. And I really enjoy uh, Cebu, though. Relationships here because it's so different. I'll give you a little teaser for things that I want to talk about in my next video. Like, for example, we have this thing called dating back in the West, right? <laughs> we date girls and we go out and we get to know them if you're meeting a girl especially from the province or any kind of traditional girl they don't really date filipinas often will jump straight from meeting you even online to feeling comfortable with you making sure you're they feel you're genuine and then bam lock in relationship wow let's talk marriage let's talk wow that's that's kind of different Comfortable. I don't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. I'm kind of getting old, getting up there. There's a, there's a really big jump from meeting to serious relationship. And it's different than back home. Girls here have a, a different mindset about love and a different mindset about, you know, connecting with someone. And I don't feel I really fully know someone until I've spent some time with them in person. But if you spend time with someone in person, you have now jumped into the territory of like, there's expectations of this being a thing, like being yeah. a serious, serious relationship where now there's a more of a commitment, even though you're just trying to get to know that person. So it's different and you have to learn how to navigate that. And I want to talk more about my thoughts on that in the next video, but that's one of a bunch of different things that people should know about before they consider the Philippines to meet a potential partner. Anyways, guys, I think that's enough information. Yeah, the Philippines is still still honestly a great place to, uh, if you want to go meet someone, I still believe the Philippines is a great place to meet people. It's just that they're getting more accustomed and more used to uh, foreigners. Like, it's nothing special anymore. Like, I remember I went back to the Philippines, what's going to be like three, four years ago. I, I got, people looked at me a lot. People would check me out. And, but then again, they knew that I was Kevl, right? A lot of people knew I was Kevl, and they one come up, had a couple people come up, ask me for pictures, ask me how my day was, ask me how, how my trip's going so far. But what I realized, they were all very friendly people, like really friendly, made some great friends in the Philippines. That's one thing I would say. To this day, I talk to most of my friends from the Philippines. And we message, like, we don't talk, like, every day. But, you know, when you, when you miss someone, you just sit, shoot them a message. You're like, hey, what's up? And it's like, no time has passed. You just talk, and you just keep talking. And it's like, oh. Great to see you. Nice talking to you again. And I hope to see you back in the Philippines soon. Most of them always tell me, like, Kevin, when are you coming back? I tell them, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back soon. I'll be soon. I mean, it's been three years, going on four, but I'll be back. I'll be back. And I also did a video with where I interviewed a Filipina. What Filipinas actually think of foreign guys that come over to the Philippines. So, you mind saying how old you are? I'm 21. What is your experience with foreign guys coming to the Philippines? Guy. Have you ever like dated a foreign guy? I dated a couple. Dated a couple. Do you mind saying how many, how many uh, 
foreign guys you've dated? Just to get her thoughts on her experience with foreigners, I'll put a link to that video in the description down below if I can find it. If you guys want to check it out, that was pretty interesting what she had to say. She uh, didn't have very nice things to say about foreigners. But at the same time, she still said that she preferred to date a foreigner because her reasoning was that a lot of the Filipino guys, what their problem is, the younger ones, they just want to mess around. They don't take it seriously and they just want to leave, like have fun and leave. And that's it. They don't want nothing else. At least they said with the foreigners, when she said they spend money. They also make her feel secure. But at the same time, sometimes it doesn't work out so well, for, at least for her, it didn't work out. So I'll put a link to that video if you guys want to check it out. And yeah, I, I'm looking forward to being, going to the Philippines again. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it. Philippines is, has been a while. I want to go, go there again with a couple friends. And I think we're going to do the whole, the whole backpacking thing again. Because uh, last time I was there, I did the whole backpacking thing. And that was pretty fun. And uh, let you guys know. Make sure you guys subscribe. Follow me and on Instagram as well. My Instagram is uh, in, the, in the description. And when I'm in the Philippines, you'll know where I am. All right? I'm out. Bye. Like, subscribe.